It's like I'm one of the cops. This reminds me of the time I uh, assisted in the arrest of a pervert at the library when I worked there. Prunkster, thanks very much. Appreciate that. Uh, I've told that story before. Uh, uh, I think I think that's already on YouTube, isn't it? Um, I'd have to recollect. It. I'd have to recollect it. And you know how I am about recollecting. Mm. Can't remember. Uh, I can remember. So, I worked at the library, right? And, you know, at the library, and this isn't, this isn't, uh, uncommon, I think, for most libraries. Most of the employees there are women. Female. Female librarians, etc. So, and it's also not very uncommon for people to go to the library and do obscene acts, believe it or not. So, uh, like, people go to the library and, let's say, jerk off, indecent exposure, look at uh, inappropriate things on the computer, etc., etc., etc. Taking pictures in the children's department. There's a lot of problems like that at libraries. It's really not uncommon, right? So, now that you know that, one time I was working at the library and there was a guy who was sitting on the floor, jerking off, with and like looking up girls' skirts. And he was like jerking off at the library, right? Which is totally illegal. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. It's against every rule and law. So, he was there, someone let me know about it. We realized, okay, this is going on, and I went to the uh, the librarian, the head librarian at the time, who was the manager of the library. And, you know, she understood the situation and we didn't want him to leave, right? We didn't want him to escape the scene of the crime because we wanted him to get arrested, right? It's not our job to confront these people, right? So, I was the only male employee there at the time. So, uh, the plan was, this guy finished jerking off, by the way. This guy finished jerking off, and he then put the jacket on, the jacket that he was using to cover himself, he put it on and started browsing the books, like a regular library patron. So the plan was that I was to go and, like, make sure that he doesn't leave until the cops come, right? So that was the plan. So I disguised myself as a regular civilian, I like went to the lost and found, I got a backpack, I put the backpack over my shoulder, I disguised myself as a civilian, right? So he's over there in the aisles, he's like looking at books, acting like he didn't just jerk off, and like I walk up to him, you know, and I'm pretending like I'm a regular civilian, I'm like, you know, how's it going man, you know, looking at books, huh? All right, you know, and all of a sudden the cops show up. The cops came around the corner right then, right when I started talking to him. And I was like, this is the fucking guy. Like immediately, I was just like, this is the fucking guy. Get him. And the cops went after him and the guy realized that I was in on it. And he looked at me like, you motherfucker. And then he started running and he threw some evidence too. He threw some evidence. He started running from the cops. The cops had gloves on because they knew he was a pervert, so they had the gloves on. They tackle his ass and knock over every book in the whole fucking library. It was like a clusterfuck. Books everywhere, shelves knocked over. It was sick. It was like I was part of the like operation. I was like the secret inside. It was like uh, The Departed. I was like the guy from The Departed. It was sick. 
Anyway, let me get a W here. Deep cover. Anyway, the bag that he threw was drugs. He threw a bag of drugs. And he was a pervert. That's a true story. I assisted in the arrest of a pervert. Take him away. I swear, I saw the cops. Because I was spooked too, man. I didn't want... I don't know what he... You know, he could have... Who knows what kind of gun he has. Some weird dildo can. 